morning guys. Um, I've got a piece of software here that I'd like to share with you all. Uh, some of you have maybe already found this particular software, some of you maybe haven't. Uh, so I'll just jump straight into it. Now the reason why I'm showing you this particular type of software is because with the release of the iPad coming out quite soon and all the talk about e-readers and the future of how we're going to read novels and textbooks and magazines and newspapers and what have you, this particular software package ties in really really nicely with all of that. Now it's obviously only going to be able to be used on a laptop um, well that, that, I mean that you could use it on your desktop but it's you'll see why that it wouldn't work. Um, now essentially this this piece of software is a PDF reader but it, uh, it does something quite special which enables you to read it read the PDF file just like uh, you would do an ordinary book. So I'll just, uh, first of all, the name of the software, I'll just zoom in here for you, is, is Read Write for Mac OS X. And obviously, you can see there how that write is spelled R I G H T, um, not W R I T E. Uh, and it says sideways PDF reader for small laptops and netbooks. So that's giving you a little bit of a clue. Obviously, the the company that do this is Twilight Edge Software. Now, when you go onto this page, I'll put a link into the sidebar. Um, there's a green download button right down at the bottom there, which is obviously you know it's self-explanatory. You press that, and this is how you're going to download the file. Now. As it stands at the minute, I don't know whether this particular type of software works with um, Windows and Linux. I am absolutely sure that there's something out there that is going to be able to do the same thing for Windows and Linux as this particular type of software does for Mac OS X. Now what I'll do is, after I finish making this video, I'll have a look about, I'll have a search around and see if, um, if I can find such a software and if I can, I'll put a link up in the sidebar for uh, a similar Windows or Linux type uh, software package. Or obviously if you guys know of any that uh, fits this, then let us know and uh, perhaps you can make a video response to it or just let me know and I'll put the link up, uh, uh, an additional link up. So anyway, once you download this for Mac OS X, it's going to give you a folder on your desktop and in the folder you're going to be have a, a readme file and you're also going to have an icon uh, and with all um, Mac OS X installations of this type of uh, file you drag the, the, the icon into your applications folder uh, and then when you click on it it'll obviously take you through the installation details. Now this is what the um, the icon is going to look like and once I show you this icon this is going to kind of give everything away before I've even showed you there we go okay so it's not a bad little icon for to sat in your uh, tool, toolbar down at the bottom there or your dock, sorry, toolbar? God, you know what, I've been using Windows 7, my mother-in-law's Windows 7 uh, laptop which I'm going to make a video about and that's why I've um, made a mistake there and said toolbar instead of dock. Anyway, so that's the icon. Now, once you've got it installed, you obviously need a PDF file that you're going to open. Now, I subscribe to four Apple magazines, uh, Mac, Mac World, Mac User, Mac Format and iCreate. Now, as a subscriber of these magazines, um, you're automatically able to download from their website the the same magazine that gets posted out to me in a PDF format. I think there's other formats as well because Mac user and iCreate also have a similar type of uh, application on the App Store that allows you to read their magazines on the iPhone or the iPod Touch. Now I'll show you that in a different video but for now we're just going to um, concentrate on this one. Now this is going to be a little bit clumsy for me but anyway once you double click on the icon um, it brings up, it gives you your option to open your PDF file 
and this is the one that I'm going to show you. Now this is Mac format. This is um, an older type issue because obviously I didn't want to get in trouble with um, copyright issues or anything like that. Now I'm using the MacBook Air and for the MacBook Air this works perfect because it's very very light. Just let me get that into a good enough position for you so you can see everything. Uh, it's very very light. I've used it on a 13 inch MacBook it's not too bad on that. I would imagine that on a 17 inch uh, MacBook Pro this is going to be quite clumsy and not really beneficial in any way. Um, and maybe the same. I haven't tried it on my daughter's Mac, uh, MacBook Pro 15 inch but uh, you know each to your own but once you install this it allows you to then hold your laptop in this type of fashion. Now you can either do one of two things. You can either use your arrow keys which will turn the page forward or bring you back that type of way or just like you do on the new Kindle uh, where the, the button is on the left or the right you can use your um, your trackpad button and just click it and it's going to open the pages just like like this and you flick through now I know that you're not going to be able to see this very, very clearly. Just let me turn that back around. I know that you're not going to be able to see this as clearly as it's meant to be because of the the formatting that, that happens in, on YouTube videos. But this is an incredibly crystal clear uh, format. You can see, obviously, it's in colour. Um, and you can just flick through the pages like this. Now, you can zoom in as well. You, all you just do is press control uh, which will give, first of all give you the page number you're on and then just zoom in with two fingers and then move it about. I don't really find the need to do this. Uh, the, the writing for me is okay but obviously there's going to be certain articles where you're going to maybe like this one here maybe need to zoom in on it but this is just a, a little piece of software that I wanted to show you guys. I thought that it, it was very good. And believe it or not, whenever you're sat down on the couch with your laptop and you use it like this, because you're holding it, you'll have your hand here and you'll have your other hand here, holding it just like a, a big textbook, your thumb's already down here. And just clicking it, just like that, is so, I don't know, it's just so simple and so easy. and it really is easy to use. Maybe some people are going to find this useless, waste of time, um, or just another gimmicky type piece of software. But some of you, I'm sure, will find this quite beneficial. Like I say, when I'm using the MacBook Air, it's incredibly easy because the MacBook Air is so light. Um, I used uh, my wife's MacBook the, the white plastic one and uh, again it works really well with that with a 13 inch screen uh, but it's up to you guys whether you want to you know try it on your 17 inch screens or 15 inch screens and then once you want to come out of this all you got to do is press escape and that will bring you back onto your desktop now when you very very first open this and you open your first PDF format or file sorry it gives you kind of like a list of different uh, shortcut buttons that you can use to jump sections or try and find chapters, that type of thing. Um, but otherwise you can just flick through the pages as, as you do normally. Okay guys, that's it. Just wanted to share this with you and uh, I hope this has been of help to somebody. Um, like I said, I'll try my best and to find out if a, a similar type of software package is available for Windows and Linux. I'm sure it is. I can't see any reason why it wouldn't be. Once I find it, I'll put it up on this uh, toolbar. Or if you guys know of any, then let me know. Thanks very much, guys, and see you all soon. Bye.